There's eight o'clock right there. We'll give everybody a couple minutes to join in. Hey, James. Hey, Gladys. What else we got? So many people. Hey, Sam. Sam, thank you for helping out with hopefully getting this thing recorded on, on YouTube for our non-social media folks. I appreciate that. And then Jackie, thank you for uh, figuring that out for us. That was awesome. They're gonna, we have some people ask Lindsay if we could do something for those that don't have social media. And so uh, Sam Bennett and Jackie Case, they were um, kind enough to, I think, figure out a way to get it on YouTube. I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. I had guys. to... I had to do something once and I found an app that you could rip your IGTV, but I, oh. yeah, I, yeah, I, I definitely have to hire people to do this stuff for me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're working on that stuff. This stuff's happening right now. We actually just hired a social media girl. So, uh, Yay. yeah, <laughs> hopefully it, it works out pretty soon. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, 801 is about as long as I can wait. Um, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> um, you'll ask anybody, Lindsay. I'm like, oh, you gotta be on time. It's gotta start perfect. So, awesome. Okay, uh, so this is kind of our follow up, you guys, to the first uh, live QA that we did with NLP coach Lindsay. Um, if you guys haven't checked that out, go back and check it out. It was just kind of an introduction to who Lindsay is, how she's gonna be working with Coast Range CrossFit. And it kind of teased a little bit that we were talking about doing a 12-week mastermind, and we got a lot of interest. So we are doing it. That email has gone out to discuss what that 12-week mastermind is going to be. So it's kind of like a survey. You're filling out some questions, and we're finding out a little bit more about you, or I guess Lindsay is finding out a little bit more about you. Um, and we pretty much think we have developed a pretty cool little 12-week mastermind that we're going to do. So we'll, we'll talk about exactly what that is going to look like. Um, and we'll take you guys through what to expect if you do decide to join that. Um, but first, we want to start off with, we had a couple of people who wanted some follow-up questions answered after the first one. So uh, we'll kick it off there, and then we'll dive into what the 12-week mastermind will look like. So, uh, Lindsay, a couple questions. One of our members asked, is it more often than not that someone doesn't want the goal enough to put in the work to achieve it, or is it often other factors? And uh, I would like to know this as well. <laughs> yeah, um, I think, you know, there are all different kinds of reasons why we end up not achieving a goal. So it could be that we didn't make a goal that's in alignment with our beliefs mm -hmm. or our values. It could be that the goal, we made it for somebody else. Or um, a lot of times there's... Um, the traditional forms or traditional ways of setting goals don't always take into account that not all of us are into numbers. So like as a business owner, when you're saying, I want to make $20,000 in the first month, sometimes that number doesn't mean anything, like have an emotional tug for you at all. But maybe saying like, I want to have this or saying like, I want to feel like new clients are coming in all the time. And I want to be having all these great ideas flowing, like whatever success looks like for you. in that goal, it might not look like a number, or it might not look like an idea, it might be a number. So it's kind of um, being in tune with what feels good. I think a lot of times we make goals because that's what we think we're supposed to do or like yeah, how we're supposed to do it, you know, or how we were taught in school or. Or sometimes it even feels like a good reset in a way. Like for myself, I'm like, oh, I feel off track. Okay, let's sit down and make some goals again, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So goals are, um, goals are something that we really need to feel attuned to. We really need to feel like it's something we really want to do. Um, other reasons why goals might not happen, the not wanting it enough. I mean, I would have to talk, um, you know, I'd have to talk to whoever it was because there could be all kinds of reasons, um, but they may not actually believe they can do it. So they may have set a goal, but like deep down and they don't even realize this, they don't actually think they can pull it off. Hmm. So there could be lots of reasons why. And what's so great about NLP is in one day we can release that and then you can allow yourself to want to want it, which is great. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. So it's not just about, oh, I need more discipline or I'm not being disciplined enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, discipline, discipline is also an interesting concept. There's a lot of terms that are in the gym that can seem punitive or can seem um, 
like they like they can seem harsh for some people. And so it's finding the right words that you want to use that feel good for making your goals and then saying like you know it's 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 hard to it's hard to like explain this, I guess. <laughs> but it's it's certainly we only do things if we ever really want to do it. So you, deep down, there's some reason why you don't actually want it. And it might be a surprise. And it doesn't take long to figure it out. Well, not if you have a trained coach, right? I don't know how yeah. people figure that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people have been trying to figure it out their whole lives. <laughs> yeah, I'm like chomping at the bit now to talk to whoever's, question, whoever's posed this question. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, cool. Another question um, was, how to keep motivation um, after you do something that, that motivates you. So for example, I, you know, I have a call with you and after I got the call with you and I'm, I'm super motivated, I'm super fired up. I want to tackle everything. Like, you know, I'm in love with life again. And then day to day, you know, the stresses stack up and, and that motivation fades quickly. So how do you maintain that motivation day to day or week to week? Um, some things that you can do is when you're in the state of motivation, you can do something called anchoring. Um, we've talked about this. So mm -hmm. you can actually select like a point on your body and usually we use a knuckle. So you would just anchor that emotion. So I can teach people how to do that. You just set an anchor so that when you're in that state of motivation, excitement, you set the anchor a couple times on that knuckle. And then when you're not feeling motivated, you can hit that knuckle as like a recall of that good feeling. So that's cool. to pull up the feelings. The other thing is like in a coaching session and in this program, we're going to be talking about creating actionable steps in those outcomes that we talked about on that first IG live that we did. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's going to be a plan. So there'll be, you know, month by month, what you want to do, what that is going to look like, how you can make that happen. And we're also going to be talking about um, changing your routines. So I know you probably tell people to like have a bunch of water as soon as they wake up and not lemon and salt, get your electrolyte balance and like all of that stuff. And that's so good. And that's what like we coaches talk about as well. It's so important to get your body in alignment. There's also time in the morning that's super golden for like spending 30 minutes on meditation or um, writing down your goals for the day. For me, I'm, the, I'm a manifester in every possible way. And mm -hmm. so I need the first like 20 minutes of the morning to plan out the whole day. And then I'm like, I got this. Like, I don't even need to look at the planner again after that because I, I know what I've got going on. Um, and cool. so... It's learning about how you work, how you stay motivated, and then putting the pieces in place so that you can't fail. So, and that's like morning routine, some sort of routine for yourself for movement during the day, and then something at the end of the day so that you can cap off your night and you can cut cords from the day. You can forgive yourself or anyone else that you need to forgive and then set intentions for that restful sleep that night to work through anything that you need to work through with your subconscious power. Awesome. So, so yeah. I've got, you know, I have a call with you or I, uh, we discussed about this earlier, you know, I PR something in the gym, I PR my back squat, I'm super fired up, you know, ringing the <laughs> PR bell. I anchor that emotion in the moment. So I'm pressing on this knuckle and you said until that emotion kind of starts to fade away, right? Yeah, so what you'll do is you'll, whether you're in the moment or not, like if you just want to remember it, you just close your eyes, you sink into that motion, you see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt, that sensation of being totally pumped on your PR. And as that feeling starts to peak, right when it gets to the very peak, or right, right before the peak, you hold your anchor point down for 10 to 15 seconds as you're feeling it. So the more intense you feel that emotion, the stronger this anchor will be. And then you'll release it when that goes away. Then what you do is whenever you want to test it or use it, you just tap that and you should feel that emotion. So I already have something anchored on there. That is making <laughs> I was going to ask you, do you have an anchor there? <laughs> yeah, I do. I have an anchor from my wedding day to Zeke and it was cool. just like the best day ever and so I anchored all the emotions there then after that you are going to re-anchor that sensation or that emotion so you can re-anchor the PR you could re-anchor like when you won the the like 
200 meter when you were in middle school or something, like whatever you, whatever you want to anchor, any of those amazing emotions. And we recommend stacking, try to stack like four or five on one knuckle. And then when you hit it, it's really powerful and you can access that. Yeah. And when you say re-anchoring, is that like, like I have to wait until I PR again and feel that feeling again or no? Nope. Trying to pull that feeling back up again. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And what's really great about this is aside from the fact that you're creating anchors that you can access that feeling on a whim because mm -hmm. your computer, you can access it as soon as you hit that button, essentially. Um, it also allows you to kind of teach yourself and train yourself at, into how to actually get into those good feelings. So like, aside from the fact that you're anchoring something awesome, you're also getting practice at saying like, okay, I'm really feeling this really good thing. And like being in touch with our emotions, our feelings is something that is not really like in our culture to, <laughs> to be doing. We're kind of taught to push it to the side, like don't cry, like get over it. Yeah. When we can really feel emotions purely, we in experience the world as we're supposed to experience it. Like we're not supposed to walk around numb and not feeling anything. Yeah, so we're like, cool. Yeah. Okay, so anchoring that emotion, having a plan, right? So I was like talking with you, like working your way back from your vision, having a plan, monitoring or having some sort of a uh, morning and nighttime routine and then doing some type of movement throughout the day. Yeah. That's like your, uh, that's Lindsay's recipe for motivation day to day. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And you know, there's other things like, um, hypnosis, like hypnosis for positive feelings or thoughts. You can pretty much listen to a hypnosis on anything that you want. Um, affirmations, we're going to come up with some affirmations in this group and then, um, create some awesome subliminal tracks to listen to. So like, have some, basically, um, the affirmations will be at a low vol volume and then there'll be some like pump up music or whatever you want to listen to layered on top of that. And then you won't be hearing the affirmations, but your subconscious will, and then you'll be hearing the music. So I have some subliminal tracks that I listen to when I'm working that my coach made for me and cool. made a huge difference. Yeah. Oh, that sounds rad. Talking about getting ready to work out and getting you pumped up or whatever, going into a meeting, getting ready to yeah. launch a new program, whatever it is. That's cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, Ari was just asking, I don't know if you could see that, but she said, could you unknowingly create a negative anchor? Can you uh, unknowingly create a negative anchor? Yes. And there's a way to get rid of them. So if you've unknowingly created a negative anchor, there's a way that we can collapse them. And that will just, we can always talk about that. But yeah, um, we can always... There's almost, I would say everything in NLP we can undo except for one thing. And I never do that with people. So I never do that one thing that can't be undone. So <laughs> everything okay. can be put back. <laughs> and we're not going to talk about what that is. Um, it's, it's, it's essentially changing your value, okay. changing it a core value. And changing core values is a dangerous thing because it can change your identity at that point. And so I don't mess with it. Yeah. But, but everything cool. else I mess with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll make sure that we answer them before we leave today. But um, let's start diving into what this 12 week mastermind feels like. Hey. Yep. Um, so we've decided on 12 weeks, you guys. Uh, obviously, I think that uh, if it was up to Lindsay, it would just last for forever, which would be awesome. And I was like, no, we have to have an end date, Lindsay. Let's you know, make this happen. So thank you so much for kind of taking your program that you do with people and really creating something special for Coast Range CrossFit and some of the Headstrong members too, which is going to be awesome. So yeah. um, the um, 12 week mastermind. So 12 weeks, we're getting together on some zoom calls. We're going to be discussing some stuff. We're going to be getting motivated and fired up. Can you dive in a little bit more to the specific details of what that 12 week mastermind is going to look like? Yeah, and why so, everybody should freaking do it because it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, so the structure of it, uh, loosely explaining it, is that there'll be six main topics, and so those six main topics are um, I'll give some examples of this after I explain the structure. So, six main topics, 
um, they will be drip released weekly. So it'll be topic on the first week. And the second week will not be a release of a topic, but there'll be a smaller topic for us to discuss in the Voxer chat. We'll also have a weekly Zoom call, um, group Zoom call. And depending on our group of people and depending on like their interests and what they want to talk about, we're going to be able to break, have breakout room discussions too. If people want to get a little more of a deep dive and like talk about more like intense things or anything that they don't want to share with the larger group. Um, and then, yeah. And so there'll be, there'll be a Voxer chat for, the, for everybody to chat on the six topics and then um, subtopics every week. And the subtopics may be something like me teaching you how to journal effectively to figure out your limiting beliefs and then how to reframe them. Or, cool. and it's just gonna depend on kind of what pops up. I just kind of have a, like a, a massive bag of tricks and, <laughs> and then I'll just pull out whatever works for the group. So it's really gonna be curated to what they're looking for and that's why that application form, that questionnaire is so important yeah. because that helps me decide how to structure things. I think most likely we'll start with goal setting and attainment because we've already talked about that. It's a good place to start. And then after that, um, we have some other topics that we've talked about, um, body image, nutrition, and how, like, how nutrition will play into your mindset mm -hmm. and um, accountability. Um, we brought up guilt. Um, also, probably a subtopic will be removing cravings. So that will be something that we can talk about in the group coaching. Um, we'll talk about relationships, beliefs, and values. We can discuss anxiety, willpower, and manifestation, my favorite. Um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, and routines, <laughs> just kind of whatever. And I'm just going to, again, curate it to what everybody's interested in. If you guys want to talk about you know, how to deal with friendship changes. We can talk about that stuff, like whatever. Right. Everything's everything's open for, for talking about, but I do have a, a nice long list of, of topics that I, I like to talk about that I think Coast Range would benefit from, so. For sure. And you guys, again, um, that survey that we sent out uh, last week, that's really important. So if you guys are, are even on the fence and thinking about doing this, fill it out and then just put in there like, hey, I'm not sure if I want to do this yet, but you know, I, I wanted to get my opinion in there. It helps us develop that mastermind and it helps Lindsay out a lot with coming up with these specific topics to make sure that this isn't just a, you know, a cookie cutter 12 week program that she does with everybody that she meets. This is really being tailored towards you guys to help you guys get through whatever it is you need to work on. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm super fired up on it. Yeah, and I think, you know, if people are um, checking, if, if people are coming into the group program and they are really want to work on something, like, I can't stop biting my nails, we can do that. So if they want to do that in front of the group, we can. I can pull them into a breakout room. We'll have the opportunity to get some coaching that everyone can benefit from. So, like, if you're having trouble getting through um, figuring out setting a goal because you're not really feeling excited about it. We can find out why. And it, a lot of times what's beautiful about group coaching is you realize that everybody just has their own set of stuff that they're working through and nothing is not figure outable. Like everything has an answer and we can figure it out and the answers inside of you, which is the crazy thing. So I just kind of dig around and ask annoying questions and confuse you. And then you usually tell me what the answer is. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So awesome. yeah, um, I'm really excited for this. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, somebody had a question on here too, Lindsay, about the anchoring piece. Um, they were asking, how would this work for someone who isn't in tune with their emotions? Isn't in tune with their emotions. So, I want, I'm not sure what that means, but you could, if you can pull up a memory vividly, then that's what you can anchor. So if you're not anchoring an emotion, you can anchor in a memory. So it might take, it might take some, just some more questioning with them to say like, what were you feeling? Okay, well, what's the benefit of that? Or where does that come from? Or do you remember what was there that day? Or did you feel really good? If it's just, I felt really good, then we anchor that. And then we kind of go into learning about how to, um, 
feel safe. Usually you don't feel in tune with your emotions because at some point in your life you weren't felt, you didn't feel safe to express them. Mm. And so here we talk about how to feel safe in that place. Cool. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, we don't want to keep you guys too late tonight. Last time we had like almost an hour long talk, and so I think that this is an appropriate amount of time. Yeah. We'll make sure that this thing gets posted to you guys, so if you didn't get to see the full one, you can go back and watch it. Um, and then hopefully for, you know, the guys that might have social media, we'll be able to post this soon on, on YouTube for you guys. But um, I'm going to resend out that survey again. If you already got it, just ignore it. Don't worry about it. But for those that maybe got it lost in their spam or in your inbox of the other hundreds of unread emails, <laughs> Um, I'm going to send it right back out again right now so you guys can, can take part in this. And um, it's a really a special and awesome opportunity, I think, that we have as Coast Range to be able to do this with you, Lindsay. So thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. And Zeke, thank you for introducing <laughs> us to Lindsay and uh, making this happen. Um, I'm yeah. really, really, really fired up. I mean, even if it's only me on there for 12 weeks, I'm ready to go. So I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, I'm pumped. This will be fun. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, well, thank you for taking the time, Lindsay. I appreciate you. Yeah, 